Hi there, it's Anne with Brew City Thrifts. I'm at the Little Goodwill off of Oakland Avenue in Milwaukee, and I only have 30 minutes to shop, so can I do anything in 30 minutes? I don't know, let's hit it, let's find out. This Little Goodwill is always super crowded, so I skipped a couple rows and went to one that was relatively empty, which happened to be the vase row where I saw this lovely light blue frosted glass lidded jar. I thought it was a little contemporary, so I moved on quickly to this piece of uh, pottery, this crock with a hand-painted windmill scene. I'm thinking it could have some age, could be mid-century-ish, maybe 1980s, but uh, despite finding it charming, I wasn't entranced enough to take it with me, and so I continued to scan for some other treasures. I enjoy finding boxes to sell online, and some of them are cardboard boxes. This is one that caught my eye. It is a nice size, it's large, it had its original tag, and it turns out to be um, a designer box by Kate McCrosty. It's well made, and it has a nice sort of Victorian um, butterfly floral theme. Now, some of these, Cardboard boxes can go for big money, especially when they're punch studios and other well-made items. This one was a nice one, but in this case, I decided to leave it behind. The lovely colors of this handmade pottery colander just set it apart from everything around it. I couldn't help but notice it. Picked it up. It is signed on the bottom. It's just a really well-made piece and I super love it. So that is coming with me. These Italian hand-painted plates also stood out. They've got a beautiful, colorful fruit around the edges. They are um, marked made in Italy, but they are super, super chipped up on the rims. So unfortunately those stayed. I noticed this blue picture back here because of the lovely robin's egg blue color and the mid-century florals on there. It has USA on the bottom and it appears to be McCoy according to my research on eBay. It's listed typically for in the 20s but it hasn't got any sold so I leave it. This pottery terrine also catches my eye. It's got a very mid-century feel to it. I looked it up on eBay and it appears to be a treasure craft piece, which I would never have guessed. And while I liked it, it was super heavy, I couldn't even lift it out and I decided to leave it on the shelf. Just hanging around on the shelf with the bird and the impala and with the cats because all you need is love and a cat and life is better with a cat. This is a set of ceramic busts of three famous composers. In my hand right there is Mozart. Next to him is Beethoven, and over here is Bach. I don't think the likenesses are so great in any of these, but these are by a company called Arnell's, and I'm not sure if they're vintage or not. I took a quick look at them before I moved on. Hi there, Sam with Bruce City Thrifts. The last time I went out thrifting, it was to the Little Goodwill and I only had half an hour and I only found one item. So this time we are at the, the uh, Goodwill over by the baseball stadium and I have a little bit more time. And so let's get in there and let's hit it. I start in the plate aisle and the dish set aisle. And the first thing I notice is this hand painted Royal Norfolk plate with a rooster on it and some um, happy white flowers around the edge. This sells for about $8 on eBay. Underneath it was a really pretty scroll enameled plate with a red base and it did not have a marking on it but it was a very pretty platter 
and it would have looked really nice for a holiday setting, but I decided to leave both of them behind. Here we have some more china sets. And the first thing that I want to pick up to look at is this pretty teapot with a gorgeous deep red purple rose. That is Arthur Wood and Sons and it is from England, Staffordshire, England. And these teapots can sometimes go for uh, a pretty price. Um, I leave it behind because I already have one that I've listed that is not moving. I noticed this pastel floral dish set and I start turning over pieces to see if I can figure out the maker. But Goodwill has placed those stickers very strategically to thwart me and I decide I don't want to mess with it and try and figure it out so I move on. The teacup is older, it has a crack in it. Back here I notice these gold uh, circled and rimmed teacups cups which are, I love the shape of those those are Theodore Haviland and probably made in Limoges France and finally I noticed this Gibson's teapot again roses is the theme and it's pretty but I decide not pretty enough to tempt me I'm in the wood and plaque area and clocks area here at this Goodwill and I notice on the lower shelf here a rough hewn box that um well it's a shelf box and it is you know it's it's kind of nice looking it's super heavy i'm unable to lift it with one hand out of the shelf so i have to put the camera down so i've got it on my cart and i'm able to look at it a little closer i like the heart cutouts i like the little heart shaped leaves on the carved plants on the front it looks like a homemade item. It's quite homey, home style, but I do think it's it's also functional, so I keep it in my cart for a bit. In the kitcheny area, I noticed these three, what I think are ceramic sake cups, and they are nicely made with a hand-painted flower on the outside. Take a look at those. There is no sake pitcher nearby, so I do leave them behind, although I think they're very nice and versatile. Below it, below them, I see this, what I think is likely a Noritake um, server, vintage, probably 1950s. And on the bottom, I see that green floral mark with Japan. I think that's a Noritake mark. Um, and it, those, some of those servers are just gorgeous. Um, this one I am able to leave behind. Next, I noticed this piece of salt glazed pottery, and it looks to be like it could be row pottery, which I am often looking for. It's one of my fun things to find. And it is, in fact, a row pottery. It's a lidded piece. It could be a sugar although it's on the large side for a sugar container, but row pottery, you bet, that goes right in my cart. And when I go back to the shelf, right next to it are two more pieces of row pottery. A small mixing bowl here, and uh, both of them have the, f the blue floral, I'm sorry, the blue heart design, which is a pretty classic row pottery design. And one is a mixing bowl, one's got a flat bottom bowl, and both of them are good sizes and in good condition. So I grab those up, I snap them up, and put them in my cart. It appears to be salt glazed pottery day at this Goodwill because here is another piece of salt glazed pottery. This one happens to be from Williamsburg Pottery in Virginia. It probably would be around a $10 to $12, maybe $10 to $15 piece, but I'm loading up on the Wisconsin pottery, so I leave that behind. I'm in the canister area, and I moved this one because I'm trying to reach this one back here. I really like the, it's got little fish bones design on it, um, and it's cute. I think there is a little crack on the top, or a chip on the top, knob there so I move on
more salt glaze pottery this is another row piece it is a bit smaller and since i've scored so many larger pieces i decide i don't need every piece of row pottery ever made so i leave it behind took a quick look at that coffee canister and then down here on the lower shelf that uh, larger platter here in the tchotchke aisle the first thing that catches my eye is this tiny little onyx hand carved kitty cat he has black eyes and he's sweet and i do like things made out of stone and onyx but in this case i decide to pass here we've got iron man i don't do much with toys actually but um it was such a bright red it kind of caught my eye <laughs> but here's the kind of iron i'm interested in this is i actually wasn't sure what it was when i picked it up it is cast iron it appears to be a wall sconce piece was my first thought or possibly part of a gate part of some other contraption and I just really loved the the architectural look of it so I put it in my cart then I went back for this which also seemed to have age it's a ceramic ashtray and as I got it uh, where I could see that uh, metal label there a little bit better um, I was checking there for a crack and actually it did have a crack in the middle it was I was feeling it out it really wasn't a, a crack but it turned out to be definitely vintage it is Texas Tech University is uh, the logo on that metal piece and I thought that would have been super cool if it weren't cracked but the crack made me put it back I really want to start picking up more figurines but I'm picky um, here we have a this is a plastic bead and safety pin basket uh, some people really love those it's not really my thing so I leave that behind this container the ceramic container was a little too new this very large trinket box ceramic trinket box was also not really that exciting so I'm scanning for something that stands out to me something different and I do notice this cute piece it is uh, maybe chalkware it is of a cat you know just digging into a bag if you have cats you know that they love paper bags I probably would have taken that with me except it did have too many chips and scratches on it so I had to leave that behind this enameled teapot trinket box it was cute but I thought the quality wasn't super great next to it I noticed this figurine this is David Frickman he was prolific in the 1990s and his pieces kind of go they're all over the place but actually most of them don't bring in a huge profit so even though I thought that was a fun piece I decided to leave it there when I saw this brass ashtray featuring the Statue of Liberty and I thought maybe this was about like the 1930s just based on the design of the ashtray, I was hoping it was something special but they are actually quite plentiful and they don't go for too much so I left it behind. I'm kind of partial to metal wall decor. This caught my eye. It is a, a candle holder. I do like the the patina i like the design of the moon and stars it's not very old unfortunately if it had a little more heft and a little more age i think i might have picked it up but i left it i thought this was a really pretty piece of glass it is a ruby red maybe a candy dish a pedestal bowl of some kind nice design I just wasn't really feeling it, so I left it. Big mistake? Not sure. It is cart review time, and there is something that goes back, and it is, yes, this cabinet. The quality just wasn't there for me, and I decided I didn't want to mess with something that big if it wasn't something I was really in love with. I do really love this piece. It is, 
at the time I wasn't sure. It turns out that I have looked it up. It is a wall sconce, and I think it's awesome. It is missing the piece from the wall, but I still think it's great. Here we've got my one of my rolled pottery bowls. No chips or cracks or any damage that I can see. The second row pottery uh, flat bottom bowl is um, also the same good condition. And then I've got the row pottery covered sugar dish, which is so big. I mean, you don't have to use it for sugar. You could put lots of other things in it. So three nice pieces of row pottery and that wall sconce. And I am happy with my finds. I'll take three pieces of rope pottery and a cast iron vintage gadget anytime. I mean, I'm going to have to do some research. I don't know what that piece was. It looks like it is part of something, but the workmanship and the, um, the design of it were really interesting to me. And I think for people who like architectural pieces, it might be something really nice. So um, I'm happy. I hope you had a good time and like my channel, comment, come back and subscribe. I love hearing your comments and I really appreciate you showing up to, to shop with me. So we will do this again, siblings, thrift on.